Before we get started with this video, I want to give a shout out to Sagittarian Prince for hitting the cash app and donating to the channel. If you like the content and the message, you can do the same. Cash app information is below in the description. You can also support this channel by clicking the subscribe button, making sure that your notification bell is turned on, and by giving the videos a thumbs up whenever you watch. Within the past week, we've seen many discussions related to this topic, like Boyce Watkins calling men predators and immature for their decision to not date single mothers, to Jason Black laying down the game to a baby daddy about protecting your seed. So I've been hearing these different conversations and I've been examining the single mother epidemic, trying to figure out solutions or how we can avoid this. I mean, for everybody, we have to admit that we have too many women not protecting their womb and too many men not protecting their seed. So today I'm giving you five reasons why you must protect your womb and your seed. Number one, producing life is the greatest gift. We're supposed to be fruitful and multiply, but the problem is too many people are doing this out of order. That's why things are so bad right now. This evil rebellious spirit, it's been running rampant for decades. And that's why we're talking about this right now today. A lot of people get offended by these type of topics. Your children, they're not the ones being condemned by this. Your actions, your behavior is what's being condemned. There has to be accountability for your choices, which brings us to number two. You are responsible for choosing the person you select to procreate with. There's so much negativity surrounding these topics because you hate the person that you had a baby with. It's crazy how we're seeing people have babies with people they don't even know. Everybody is just thinking about satisfaction for one second and ignoring everything else. It's funny how more thought is being placed on what school you wanna go to or what job you wanna work at than the person you decide to have a baby with. And again, this goes for men and women. Talking about your child's mother or father, it doesn't make you look good. In fact, it makes you look like a very poor decision maker. You know why? Because you chose that man. You chose that woman. Maybe you should've used protection. Maybe you should've been on birth control. I mean, there's so many ways to avoid this, especially in 2021, the I made a mistake excuse or it was an intentional excuse. That's just not gonna fly anymore. You have to take responsibility for you. Shout out to Jason Black from the business. A guy called up to a show this week, complaining about the woman that he had a baby with. And I'm gonna share a couple of seconds of that with you because he made a great point. Fellas, the most important decision you will make is the woman that you choose to carry your legacy. That will be the most important decision that you make. If you become a peak value man, the single most important decision you will make is the woman that you choose to carry your legacy. Most important decision, you have to choose carefully. You have to choose carefully. You don't go off and just get any old broad pregnant. That chick is supposed to fill out paperwork, documentation, pass a background check. She's supposed to qualify. And what I'm saying is if you are a useless male, then you're gonna have useless kids. You're gonna have useless kids. And if you're willing to get a chick pregnant at random that's the definition of being a use you're obviously worthless your 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 seed ain't nothing to protect shout out to jason black from the business if you want to hear that full call i'll leave the link to the original video in his channel along with the timestamps in the description i have to say i agree with him 100 you can't go around just putting a baby in every woman you see men like that have the future syndrome and that's the main problem they seem to have and for the ladies you can't go around just letting anybody have access to you especially people who have no business there anyway you have to be more selective and everybody's gonna be accountable for the selection they made. Still giving you five reasons why you must protect your womb and your seed. Number three, you're connected to that person for a lifetime and beyond. People always seem to think that after a child turns 18, they'll probably never have to deal with baby mama, baby daddy again. 
But you have to remember that as your kids grow, they're gonna have birthdays, they're gonna have graduations, they're gonna have weddings, they're gonna have your grandkids, you guys are gonna have family trips, reunions, you're gonna see that person forever. Whether you like it or not, they will be connected to your family tree. This is why it's so important. You know, when Jason was talking about the whole legacy thing, you have to think about all of this when making that decision. Number four, picking the wrong person can cost you a lot of money, time, and headache. We've all heard about the child support situations, men going through a lot there. But one thing that guys have to also realize, when you make decisions like this and you end up on child support, you end up being responsible for multiple households. It's like having a primary home and a vacation home. You're having to pay expenses on both. You can't really afford to do that. And that's why it creates such a financial strain to where you're trying to catch up and you never seem to be able to catch up. And don't get behind, you're gonna be in big trouble, for real. Not only that, the headache of it all, having to deal with all these people and personalities. One person can wake up on the wrong side of the bed that day and then you're also impacted by them, their emotions and their feelings. My advice is to protect your womb, protect your seed, you won't have this problem. And one quick point for the ladies too. I know a lot of times when we talk about child support issues and stuff like that, you automatically jump to the side of the women because you're looking at it as a man versus woman thing. But as women continue to make more and more money with the whole independent thing, the whole equality thing, we have been seeing women on the other side of the situation. For instance, like the lady, I think her name is Sherry Shepard, the one that was on The View. She's paying child support for a baby that doesn't even belong to her. And we're also starting to hear more stories of women having to pay child support, having to pay spousal support. So you have to be careful what you wish for. The women, you've created this standard in the court system and that's things turn around more women you're gonna find yourself on the other side so we have to stop looking at this thing as a gender war the fifth and final reason why you must protect your womb and your seed is to avoid raising the child in a single parent home one thing that we all can admit is that raising kids in this type of environment is not ideal the children they really need both parents a mother and a father and since most men are not willing to be stepfathers I also know a lot of women who don't want to be stepmothers this is one way we can start fixing this issue if we make better decisions we'll get better outcomes and over the next two generations we can turn this thing back around it wasn't always like this i can go back to my grandmother's days this was not normal the answer is not to try to shame people into accepting your kids if they don't want to be bothered with a situation like that that's not the answer the answer is for us to do what we need to do collectively and individually to stop all this from happening in the first place bad choices often come with bad consequences there's just no way around it. First thing that people have to do is be held accountable for their actions and acknowledge that they made bad decisions. And from there, instead of telling younger people to follow their footsteps, they need to tell younger people, I didn't do it the right way, do not do what I did, and protect them from making the same mistakes. So that's it for your five reasons why you must protect your womb and your seed. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That's a great way to support the channel. You can also donate to the channel. The cash app information is below in the description. Ladies, if you're looking for a change and you're tired of the same, you have got to subscribe to this channel and be open to hearing the truth. Fellas, you are also welcome to subscribe to this channel. Again, don't forget to like this video and share.